Right, done the bin. That just flops open like that. And I've got this little strap here just to stop it from falling too far. I don't want it to keep hitting the fridge with my doorknob. I don't want to ruin my knob. I like that one. Or I don't want to ruin my fridge. It's got to train that to go there. And there's my bin and you wouldn't even know it's there. Chisel, mallet, these. Bye. There's a lots, lots of things that I blame John for. One of them is when I leave with a chisel and a and a mallet and he goes, whatever you do, don't cut yourself. In I go. Sorted. Right. It's not tidy, but there's so much stuff here that needs touching up paint wise. I'm just gonna go over and do that later. Just nudged out a couple of mil. I've just did it all up and now sorted and you know just when you get all excited about your new cabinets and things so just like right, we just need to pop out for a minute so get the van ready to go who doesn't put the non-slip mat in under the coffee maker that would be me first bend out it slides still plugged in goes round the corner that's dangling down there's bits of coffee that's caught in the tray that i forgot to empty out this morning Splashed around everywhere. The back was half full of water. So that's gone everywhere. My rug soaking wet through. There's coffee down my doors. Not come off too badly. You can just see a bit of staining on that one. Seems to be okay. That has got a little crack in it where something hit there. And then that has taken a layer of paint off when it was scrabbling around. Big day today. Today is the day that this cupboard will be built so basically i'm going to copy this one but it's not going to be as long it'll be just long enough to fit my toilet in everything else the same so i can measure up just i didn't i mean the measurements were written on something that has gone now so i'm gonna measure the other one cut it out of 18 mil we're just going 18 mil pocket holes simple so hopefully by the end of the day today that's going to be done let's get cracking Right, I am ready to go. Wood is on the table, ruler's out. Got all of my uh, measurements here, including how best to lay it out on the wood to try and minimise the wastage. I'll get measurement out and get the tracks all out now and get cut in. And then hopefully it should be, you know, so quick and easy. So, I've only had three paddies. I've only had three paddies, but this is what we are at at the moment. So this is obviously going to go over the wheel arch on the near side door. Might just have a drop down thing and then I can use that for toilet rolls and cleaning things. And I've got baskets and baskets of things that I've taken out of all the little nooks and crannies and bumble that I could probably get in there in one big space rather than sectioning it off. So I'll start with that. The good thing with making your own stuff is that you can change it. The next time you see it, ah, oh, it might have another lid on it. Well, look at all this space I've still got. So this here, look, ah, oh, will be my space, which is fine. Got my new curtain, and then I've got that to be able to get out from there. And then I've got this to get out from here. Yeah, I'm happy with the remaining space that I will have after that. So, yeah. Oh, I am so sick. Of sharing a workshop, apparently. <laughs> I'm so sick of sanding and sawing and sawdust in general. I hope after this is done... I'll be very happy if the only sawdust I get to see is what I use in my toilet. Sanding of cupboard can only mean one thing. I get covered in paint as well. I get one coat on, give it a sand down, give it another coat because it's beautiful after two coats. And then I can get it in. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get the worktop cut today. And tomorrow, hopefully, um, I'll get everything in. It's 
a lot of wood that you know i'm just gonna do my shelf and then leave it all to dry hopefully i'll have enough time for a sand down and a second coat before bedtime so i've only done this once before but cutting the countertop is so nerve-wracking because it's like got to be almost millimeter perfect because all well, the way i'm doing it with the it lining up with the cupboards today i'm going to get the second cone of paint done and get that varnished i'll tidy up i'm honestly million times a day i brush up and I'm, that's no exaggeration a million times a day it's dead weird when you cut something wrong so i don't know why i missed half a centimeter off you know bad measurements it's a theme um, but instead of wasting that big piece of wood um, I decided I was going to change this piece of wood instead. So I have made that piece of wood half a centimetre bigger and now everything fits. So up there for thinking. And no, it all doesn't go right. There's lots of swearing. But as long as it fits in the end, that's all that matters. Jacket potatoes with cheese and beans for dinner today. One of my little favourites, but it's good having the air fryer. It takes about 40 minutes. We get those McCain frozen jacket potatoes in the bag. There's like eight spuds for four quid or whatever, which I know is a bit more expensive than buying actual potatoes. But my goodness, are they nice. They get lovely crispy skin. They cook in half the time. Um, so, yeah, 40 minutes in the air fryer from frozen. And we will get crispy skins, fluffy innards, Perfect for a load of butter and salt and pepper and grated cheese and beans. So uh, we're really looking forward to that. We're having our big main meal in the middle of the day. And it's kind of helping us not feel all bloaty because we've got a chance to work it off afterwards. So a nice big dinner and then we'll just have snacks or something. I've been having toast and marmite for my tea, um, supper, whatever you want to call it. It's normally quite late by the time I get that. And that seems to be doing okay. I don't feel hungry all the time. But then, you know, when you get really busy and you just get stuck into things and the last thing you want to do is stop and eat. I mean, I'm the biggest foodie and the fact that I get so busy, it's like when I'm doing accounts, I just sit and go through it. I don't even think, I mean, coffee does spring to mind, but nothing else comes into my mind. I just sit there and you're concentrating and you can go through it all. And if I'm doing that for a full day... I can quite easily not eat. It's a, it's a good one. Just keep that on. It beeps at me and tells me I need to do stuff. So it's perfect. I don't have to remember anything. Cupboard making's going well. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And it's the show this weekend. Uh, in six days, it is the start of the, sh the, is it the camping, caravanning and motorhome show at the NEC. And we're going to be there all week from Tuesday to Sunday. We're with my rider, I think Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday from 11 to 1. Um, otherwise, we'll be around the thing. So if you do see us, please come and say hi. And yeah, it should be really exciting. I can't wait. We've kind of planned it so we've actually got time to do stuff as well, to actually go and have a look, because we've been told that this spring show is the best show out of everything, out of them all. And of course, we did the October show last year, so it's only right and proper we do the mega spring show. So really looking forward to going down and doing that. I know in the back of my mind, all I'm going to be thinking is, could be working on the van, could be working on the van. It's got to be done. It's a lovely break, and we'll come back invigorated and ready to go. I'm tired today, and a lot today. So it's on to doing the beading. Anyone see a problem with this one? Honestly, stupid Mandy, stupid. But got the little production line going. Get these done, get the filler in tonight. So we drive me to paint tomorrow and then get that painted properly tonight. And then that should hopefully be ready to go in tomorrow. And the surface. And it's me like, oh, yeah, by the end of the day today, no, Monday, calm your tits. It is 24 minutes past seven. I reckon I've got another couple of hours. Been up since half six. It's a long day. Um, and once I've done this, I've got to go and do some account stuff. And then I get to go to bed. So I keep looking at this. I trapped myself yesterday. Unopened. Can't have Mandy and Hacksaws drinking wine, can we now? <laughs> it is something past something. I have stopped counting the time. Um, that cupboard is painted. That's painted. That's varnished. And these are ready for paint.
tomorrow. This is a glass of red wine because I'm not using power tools so I can drink it and not hurt myself. Good day today. I mean, it's, it's so much slower going with paint. Very, very happy. I can get the unit in my van tomorrow because that's had its two coats. So once it's dried, that can go in and then I can work on all the other stuff. Can you tell what day it is? Yeah. I'll tuck myself back in my car, won't I? Oh dear. So because we've got the show next week, I thought we'd better get some clean laundry before we get going. I tell you one thing, parking on this road is pretty restricted because um, it's, I think there's lots of little businesses and stuff, so they don't want you to park for more than an hour. Um, the traffic wardens just popped in to see if it was anybody from in here to just say to move the car before she gave a ticket. How nice is that? So, yeah, lovely place. I'm not good, man. It's, it's harder work doing washing and shopping than it is building a van. Hello and welcome to the fourth day in a row where I'm going to say this unit will be in the van today. There's so many things. I mean, it's there. I'm happy with that. It's a lovely unit. I have put some doorknobs on. So, got some lovely colour in there. And I'm just marking out, hence pencil in hand, for where my hinges are going to go. One thing to note, if you're going to use this Grandia little tester pot from B&Q, you'll need to do the whole thing on a door that size because it needs 56 million coats. So <laughs> just to know, it's always good to know. So that one tub has done me that one door. Well, now it's getting exciting. So I've come in, I've done a bit of a clear up. I've moved my things from here that were there before. And then the unit's coming in. I was going to put the work surface on in the unit and uh, John made a good call because that with this one, we had to square it up a little bit. So we ended up putting a screw through the back into the, because thankfully this is all boarded anyway, to kind of hold it that way. And then we've obviously got the pocket hole stuffer in the floor. And then we've got a last minute thing to square the top up uh, by putting the countertop on in here. So I've just got to wait for John to have his surprise poo and then we can come in. <laughs> I can't lift that thing on my own and we'll get the, uh, the unit in. So, ah! Ooh. Exciting. And there we go. Excuse that mess of us. I've just pushed everything to one side. So we've got the fridge is going to be over there. So that's why I can't do anything with that. Here we have a cupboard. And here we have a toilet. So yeah, cool and colourful. Where's my space gone? It just, there just isn't any, you know, with the bits, there's still loads. Um, it just seems really weird because I think I've just got so used to having nothing in this van. And when this was in, it's like, oh, that's not so bad. You know, bit of storage, it's fine. There's a lot of storage now. Uh, a lot of sideboard space as well, which is cool because I have just having to just move things around all the time and there's nowhere to move it to. So if my clothes have just dumped on here, which they have been because I've got nowhere to put them, um, and I need to use the sink, I've had to move everything and have a, a mini paddy while I'm doing it. But now I've got a whole other side. Exciting times. So all I have to do now is find somewhere else to put my iPad stand because that was clipped on the bed that is about there that I can't get to. I've also got to decide, and I'm probably not going to do this before we go to the show, but here I was going to do another one of these with a slightly different layout, drawers and cupboards and things. But I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it's going to take up too much space? Do you think the symmetry will be good, having one on either side and it kind of makes a separate room at the back? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you. So while I clean up for the millionth time today, I'm going to end the video here. 
so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed me making my second proper cupboard with the doors and everything i really did enjoy this one much more than the first one i think it's a proper learning curve getting to the bottom of all of this and especially realizing you need to use different things to make it so the different materials definitely made a difference so for anyone going to the show i hope to see you there and if not i hope you enjoy what videos and socials will post about it because we are really excited but for now I get a break from the van build, but I will be right back at it as soon as we get back from the show. So again, thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.